Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. I am Manny Carl, and you are tuning in to a Let's Talk right here on The Division. Today's Let's Talk is a bit new for me, so I wanted to go ahead and share a few tips for the underground first, and then we'll discuss the heroics of the underground and the tips on how to survive that as well. I finally got around to doing heroics tonight. My Mountie squad wasn't really prepared, but we went ahead and got in and did it, and it was awesome. I would just want to go ahead, we'll go ahead and talk about the first things in the underground that I'm going to teach you and really get you up to speed on how to do it and then we'll go ahead and talk about that stuff so first thing I want to discuss is a few tips and the most important one is being able to pick up all of the chests and the intel from the underground some of these are pretty easy to miss I mean I walk by the intel all the time but there is a 100% way to find them all and it's simply something most people already know how to do my recommendation is to do this as you do a room to room sweep so you aren't backtracking from the end of the level but once you reach the end of a room and have cleared it, press your map button and bring up your map. This will allow you to see the current map as well as any loot objects, restocks, crafting items, and most importantly, intel and item crates. It's very important on heroics as well because you want those item crates, you want that intel. This can be done once you reach the end of the mission or when you reach the end of the room. Just open it up, open up your map, that is, and if you walked by it or someone in the group walked close enough to it, it will show on your map. It will show everything that you've walked by when I say close if you walk down the middle of the map you'll see it on the map as you exit the level for the most part if you haven't cleared a room the items won't show up this tip is great for seeing behind locked doors and making sure that loot behind locked doors is actually worth you using a lock pick to go ahead and get it my second tip for you and I'm just gonna go ahead and start my heroic run here as you can see but my second tip for you is to do hard mode with as many phases and directives as possible why why do we do this well because it takes the least amount of time for the most amount of rewards there is little risk high rewards and you can get it done fast if your goal is to hit level 40 in the underground and get it there faster than the rest of your friends and get some sweet underground caches to get 268 gear this is the way to do it you'll find yourself spending less time failing levels and more time leveling up this is a great for getting 229 and 268 weapons and gear from the underground caches I'll have my video up of my alt running through and opening some caches I currently have stored. I spent three hours, got about seven caches, and I'm going to get more tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and have that video up for you as soon as possible. But if you don't have an alt, you're really missing out on a ton of loot because you just go through and it's so easy to run through on an alt just to get like 500 XP and get a cache and just keep going through it. Speaking of a ton of loot, let me ask you this. Have you played the Underground Heroic missions yet? Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section about how you feel about them and I'm gonna go ahead and share mine right now I was against playing the heroic missions because I thought it would just be one fail after one fail and we would be miserable nobody would want to do it so today as you're seeing this video I started a group with the Manny squad some of these guys are Manny squad some of these guys are newer to the Manny squad but you've probably seen all their names before I started this group and I decided today was the day and we wanted to try heroic mode and the level 35 ass whooping that I had coming but something happened well the first time what happened is, is basically what I just told you and we got stomped by one shotgunner and wiped we almost didn't try it again because the shotgunners are such bullshit in this game I can't emphasize that enough please massive do something about the shotgunners they're just ridiculous I could do a whole let's talk on that but let's keep going so we decided to give it another go a uh, few goes actually we've failed a couple times but for the most part we got going really well I figured why not we can do the challenging mission how much harder can this be well the answer is it's five levels above you hard but the weird thing happened to me and the Maui squad and that was we are having a ton of fun this mode is a lot of fun it is not like normal hard or challenge missions that are frustrating and just a, a slog this is actually a fun mission because of what happens now we're having fun playing a game that most of the Mountie squad said would just be a boring grind to 40 now I despise making a hard mode just for the sake of having a hard mode but this heroic mode was the most fun I've had since day one of the underground you are always on your toes communicating using strategy to make sure that your team stays alive it is awesome it is one of the most exhilarating fun actionable items I've done 
the Dark Zone doesn't even compare to this. It is by far the best thing that Massive has done, and I don't have anything bad to say about Heroic Mode. It is awesome, it is fun, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it in just a minute. Now, the thrill of constant exploration as you look for loot crates, and let me tell you, if you hate glitches, what I'm about to tell you is going to burn you up inside. Even though this is not a glitch, it's not an exploit, it is heroic mode. But you can't get to it unless you get to level 20 in the underground. So let me just tell you this. We earn loot faster than doing any of the glitches that are out there. Because in the heroic mode, each loot crate, all of the crates, all the crates in the game, right now in the underground in heroic mode can drop either two mint 268 pieces to 229 weapons or a combo of the both it was absolutely the biggest thrill to look for these loot crates and open them up and find actual usable gear inside and be happy about it the mounty squad wasn't even ready for heroics tonight they were so under geared that it was ridiculous most of them just got back from holiday and started playing underground this last weekend and some of them are just at the recommended gear score which by the way seems like massive actually got the gear score right for heroic mode 230 is about the time that you can start doing these heroics as long as somebody in your group is 255 240 somewhere around there it's all about that thrill that you get from going through opening up crates and doing all that stuff now quick tips on surviving first don't feel like you're going to win except that you won't win every time it's part of the thrill next you need to communicate with your team no mic no go that's the way i handle it if you're on my team and you're coming to play you gotta have a mic you gotta be able to communicate if you're not communicating well you're just not being a team player and you're really bringing down the team's chances of actually being able to complete the mission finally you need to run a good setup people have their own favorite perks and abilities but you need to run things like two agents running revive box constant healing smart cover and pulse those are your main abilities you need to set up make the person with the highest skill power the healer as they will always get at you out of most jams they're going to heal you they're going to revive you they're going to do a lot to keep the group alive you need a dedicated healer someone that has good you know gun skills but also can go ahead and heal people and make sure that you're they're paying attention and you need someone that pays attention someone that can listen someone that communicates just to make sure that your team stays alive the last thing that you need to be successful is running survival link i can't stress how important survival link was as we were going through now i ran attack link because i had the highest skill power so keep that in mind everyone else had to run survival link it works great and the last one alive presses the button to activate the survival link to pick everybody up so obviously it doesn't work if you're dead i ran attack link because of the shotgunners it was very important to make sure that the shotgunners got down as soon as they walked through the door also, you need to kind of learn how to retreat. Like, being able to be in this game, it's a cover-based shooter. You want to make sure that you're moving forward. But in this case, in Heroics, you want to move back and kind of create these choke points and these hallways and stuff like that, as you'll see in this video if it runs to the entirety of it. But you want to make sure that you have these choke points that your team can go ahead and fire through. Really bring in that, those, that damage and be able to kind of crowd control what's coming in and what's going out and being able to kill shotgunners and focus on downing one at a time that's that's also another key you need to make sure that you're calling out targets and everybody's focusing on those targets or else one person's going to run out of bullets and nobody's going to be happy you're not going to win the mission if you keep doing that you will have some issues along the way but once you gel as a group you will be in there and having a great time loot farming it's super fun super enjoyable and while not the fastest way to get levels it is pretty fast way to go to get high gear score loot most of the people that i know they're trying to get to level 40 because they want those caches they want those high-end caches and this is a much easier way to get your 268s and 229 weapons that is really the the best way that i could possibly tell you now you're probably not gonna go and pug this group it's probably impossible to do i wouldn't say impossible i'd say it'd be very hard you need to find a good group people that'll listen and most of the time pug groups they're not on my you know they're younger kids they're doing you know this and that and they're goofing around but you need someone that will listen pay attention and get you know instructions for it so 
That has been my time. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please drop a like on this video and consider subscribing to our channel for the most up to minute news and notes around the Division community. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Matty Carl and you've been watching a Division Let's Talk on the Division. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the underground. Agent out.